Hello everybody, my name is Anselm, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Canada, let us continue on from where we last left off. So, apparently Bordeaux is basically completely undefended, so we're going to be sending like 11 divisions over there and see if maybe we can kind of push our way south. Um, these guys, the Communist Spain, I'm really surprised that they're doing so poorly. I mean, they are at war with the entirety of the uh, Middle Europa, but right now the Middle Europa... Kind of just doesn't exist. It, it's in a pretty, I would say, bad situation. Yes, yeah, so we'll send these guys down here. The guys who were originally supposed to invade Liverpool, uh, we'll just send them down to France because I think it's fine. And anything, like, this, these are 19 guys. If anything, I'm going to have you just have, like, I'm going to put you into the, the British front as well. You're also just, you're not going to garrison. That doesn't really make a lot of sense because I think it splits you up too much. You're just going to have like a fallback line over Dublin. So yeah, we'll send you over there because there's really no reason to defend against the United States. A civil war is not happening. USA prepares for war. Huh. Would you like to join our faction, America? Hmm. I mean, you, you still have a focus tree, but you know, that's fine. You should absolutely join us. Oh, brand new year. Oh, no, it's brand new month. Never mind. Again, it's just auto-saving. Britain, can you just... this one day. Okay, we have to rename you as well. Uh, because now you are not... Lo you're no longer the British garrison. You are the... the French... Garrison. Close you. It's hard to type when there's a big microphone in front of me. So yeah, most of our guys right now are in Britain, which kind of, you know, makes sense. But I'm just hoping the French don't reinforce more when they see that we've landed 11 troops into the country. We're just going to basically retreat our way out of this province. Kingdom of Spain has capitulated. Oh dear. Most of it's gone to uh, France. Okay. I don't know what determined that, but... You know, there it is. Are you going to join? What are you going to do? I don't know what they're going to do. But now France owns most of... I mean, we're not at war with anybody down here, right? No. We're not at war with any part of Spain. Is there any airport? No, there's no planes there, sadly, but... Yeah, we'll just kind of take all this territory. Hold on to it for safekeeping. Japan declared war on the Mughal Empire. Do they even have a land border? Well, I guess Siberia is a puppet of theirs. Also, Tibet... Didn't Tibet get annexed? I thought Tibet got annexed at some point, but apparently not. Yeah, we basically need to clear this up. Because if we take these provinces, then the AI will be less stupid about protecting it. How are you at negative 19? Come on, guys. I mean, I know the organization's low because of the, uh... When you ship troops, it gets pretty bad. But still... Basically, it's unacceptable. Yeah, you're the Marines. You're actually ready to go tomorrow. Which is pretty good. We'll wait until these uh, 19 divisions show up at some point. We don't have convoys to actually ship everybody, but, you know, at some point I'm sure it'll be fine. In fact, you know, you three can just join up, uh, like, orange. It doesn't, really, it doesn't really matter. Assuming most of the guys are going properly. Who's going to be there first? Okay, you're there first. Well, that's fine. I don't need to actually attack into you. But we do need to hold the port. That part's actually important. But we just, we're trying to just split up the French forces as much as possible. Because as far as I know, there's French troops here. There's French troops here. Uh, there's probably French troops up in this area as well. And I don't know where else they could be. 
you know, national France is kind of just wasting our time. They haven't done a single thing. I'm pretty sure it's like this entire war. Like we've done 67% of the heavy lifting. I mean, the French have done 25%, but they've lost, you know, 30,000 men. We've lost almost 100,000, but the uh, the other side has lost like 700,000. So look at this. India's lost 1%. They have 60 brigades and they've, they've lost 100 men in this war. Australia has 46 divisions. They've lost 16 guys. Like, what are you doing? And I can't request troops. Right? Like, I can't, like, hey, give Australia, give me your army. Because we could have won the war by now if the if the AI wasn't stupid. We got some more encryption. Let's get some decryption now. And hopefully that means that... Do we have a bonus defense? I'm not too sure. There we go. We got a, like a little foothold here. I'm hoping that now that this is considered French territory proper, that maybe the AI will try to reinforce it. Like who knows? You know, if we were attacking Nepal, all of Australia's soldiers would be there. But now that we're attacking, you know, you know, Britain, and apparently not. It's, it's, it's terrible. They won't do it. Oh, where is purple? Okay, you guys are over here. You're about halfway done. Yeah, so there we go. We got some encryption. I think we need more decryption, right? Because I think decryption gives a bonus to attack. I think encryption gives a bonus to defense. I'm, I think. I might be 100% wrong. Yeah, they actually sent a large amount of troops over here. Oh, wait. They've, uh... They took back the port. That is bad for everybody involved because we, we no longer have supplies. I think. Local supply base? How do we have a supply base? Are you a supply base? I'm not too sure. I don't know where you're getting supplies from. Control of incoming edge provinces. I don't know what the, I don't know what that means. What the hell is an edge province? Is it because we control like things that are still connected to the water? I mean, these guys don't have supplies anymore. So what we should do is basically just have like a fallback line here. Assign all the divisions to that. Because apparently they have they apparently they have supplies. I don't know how, but they do. So you just kind of stand on the coast here. Try not to die. Because I would really hate to lose what? How many guys are in each one of these armies? Uh, to template no. I need like. There, there's ten thousand men. So I don't want to lose a hundred and like twenty thousand people all at once. Also, we have a big arrangement of rifles from basically all over the world. But there's like a hundred thousand men here right now, and I feel like it would be bad press to lose literally everybody. So yeah, you guys just kind of hang out on the coast. I don't know how we're gonna help you at all, but I'm sure maybe that'll happen. Do you guys have like a non-aggression pact with Germany? I don't think we need that many troops on the border. Like, it's fine. Italy still want to join our faction? No, they don't. And the United States, are you are you joining the faction? Are you going to? You're preparing for a war. I don't know when you did that though. And we need steel. Okay, well, we'll get more from the states. I think that's fine. The French garrison, I think, is pretty much screwed. Yeah, I just don't know. Army. I don't know where the supply is. Is it this little building here? I think it might be this little building that's doing these supplies, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just kind of taking a guess. So how are you guys doing? I mean, once again, like, they're mostly just throwing men at us. 
which is good. I, how many troops have the French and British lost to the Germans so far? 500,000 against them. They've lost... Okay, so we're looking about 800,000 for the French. 600,000 for the British. That's good. It's good for us. They're also fighting Italy. They've lost 300,000 there. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they're fighting anybody else. But still, I think Britain has thrown a half a million people at Cornwall with no success. And that's that's pretty bad. Like, Britain, you should stop it. I don't think our loss... So we've lost about 40,000 men here. And the British, I think, have lost half a million. So... The numbers are definitely in our favor, which is good because, you know... There's not... We don't have that many people we can actually throw at them. Yeah, so it looks like the Purple Army's arrived. I mean, there are still some more coming, but I think for the most part... You... George Veneer... You have the green light to do the invasion. We'll be able to reinforce with like 16 brigades right afterwards. But the, the goal basically is... What happened? Oh, okay. So India actually declared war on communist India. They've joined the Third International. I mean, at least that means that India is going to do something. I guess that's better than what was happening before, but still. These numbers aren't really in your favor, India. I'm just saying. Hopefully now Australia will actually send troops up there. Maybe. If, if we're lucky. Yeah, like, why does one attack guy attack the city and then five guys attack next to the city? I don't think I get that. I mean, there's gotta be a reason for it, but I don't know what that reason is. Yeah, now they basically have no supplies, right? So... They just get attacked immediately. They can't reinforce at all. I don't know why the AI does it like this. Because to me, it doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. Like, they're just all going to lose. Yeah, I don't... I don't- I don't know why it does it like this. Maybe there's just too many people in Britain. Maybe- maybe that's our issue. Actually, is there even a reason to have these guys be two separate armies? Just have them all kind of combined into blue at this point. It also clean this up a little bit. And also, yeah, it kind of changes this. Now, now he feels like he's fighting an inferior enemy. I don't know if we can really do anything with that information right now. And these guys can't leave. I think. We could try to retreat further into, like, Newcastle or something. Oh, they've actually landed in Edinburgh. Huh. How long will this battle last? Five days? You think we can get there in five days? Do we have a good commander? Attack plus 10%. Armor attack. I guess you got you guys try to get there as fast as possible. See if we can distract the British here long enough. But now you still don't feel confident. If you're an enemy, but we're still preparing, and our organization is still trash. But if we can just kind of keep pushing our way further and further in, not 107 days to do this attack. But most of our guys actually don't have great. A lot of guys are in multiple combat. Well, five of them are. 140 days. 88. Where the hell are these guys going? I have no clue where they're going. 100, it's 104 days is so long. And, yep, those guys already died. So, purple, I'm pretty sure, is not going to do anything anymore. I'm sorry guys up here. You're just all dead and I can't... I don't think I can help you at all. 
If we can just have one guy walk to like Newcastle or something. It's gonna take him three days to walk over here. And it's gonna be overrun in a day. Ugh, that didn't work out so well. I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised, but still. Why are they still attacking us? To me, that kind of just seems suicidal. If we can actually get these guys on, like, one front, I think it'll be easier. If we control, like, a single province, I think it'll be easier to push our way through. Yeah, nope, that was actually the, uh... Biggest mistake I've ever done. I think I just got, like, 25,000 people killed or captured. Probably not the best thing we could have done there. How about instead of Liverpool? And also, don't attack the neighboring provinces, because that just never works, apparently. Uh, Cardiff. I just think attacking, maybe, maybe just attacking Liverpool, that's the bad idea. How about Scapa Flow? This is a great name for a place in general, but... No, we don't need to we don't need to naval evade our own territory. Newcastle, London. These guys, I think, are all going to die too. I mean, you're well defended. But still... Do you not have supplies anymore? No, you still are in supply. I'm actually surprised that they're losing. They have high organization. The French have 82 organized. How are they? How are they so much better than we are? I don't really know. Yeah, Italy's going bad, but Britain's still we're still doing well here. Kind of. I like. I can't really tell, honestly. Yeah, like, where, yeah, where the hell that guy come from? Oh, they're retreating into our territory, I think, and then just instantly being overrun. So that's good. And I don't know if this battle over here is actually working out in our favor. It might not be. It might be going, like, really, really badly. So from Dublin to... Not there... What, what, what kind of territory is this? Is this plains or is this... What are you? I can't really tell. Okay, that is plains. Well, I guess that's that's probably... That's where we attacked the first time and it kind of worked out. I think it's like... Oh, we have to do again. Artillery attack. Organization plus 15%. Yeah, that seems pretty good. But I don't know who the hell he's going to replace now. Everyone's just replacing everybody at this point. But he seemed like he was a kind of okay, so... I guess we're going to go with it. And then, yeah, five of these guys, I think... I mean, they might just be in the reserves, too. Wait, we have air superiority here again? Oh, did the British just leave... Just take all their planes out of the territory for some reason? Probably. So good work there, guys. Just kind of hold on to the territory. I mean, these guys are in multiple combat, so they're taking a negative 50-50. But if we can take Bordeaux, we can at least get these troops out of here. Nope, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Get to Bordeaux. Nope, get to Bordeaux. Retreat to Bordeaux. This guy's just dead. Sorry, guy. I don't know if there's any uh, supplies for you now. No, he does have supplies, but he's absolutely not going to survive. Nope. Before you even think about that, uh, you are going to now garrison in Ireland. So, uh, yeah, you go do that. We have no we have no convoys. Well, I'll just stay in Bordeaux. That's better than what we could have asked you before. Where are all the convoys? 
this isn't trade and supply. Like, this is why, do we, why are we trading so many convoys? And also, why does it go over the maximum? Why is it, um, 256 out of 119? I don't understand that, but... There's just so many troops. There's too many men. Actually, what we should do, these tanks? I think we need to resupply over here. Or reinforce, I should say. Just to make sure that they don't all die. Because I feel like not dying would definitely be a good thing to do. Yeah, like now their organization is pretty low. Can we pull out the, like, the troops with low organization? No, I, o I only want the guys with low organization. No, it's a green bar. I'm looking at the wrong- I'm looking at the wrong bar. I want you... I want you, 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 you... No, but I only, I only want these guys. So actually, I wanted. No, I want to deselect everybody. Yeah, don't have you. Everybody with low organization should just kind of pull out of the battle for now. No, I did it back. I did it backwards again. Okay. Ugh, I'm really bad at this. Okay. So everybody who's in combat and has low organization should stop being in combat. So that better guys can like serve on the front. Yeah, so you guys just kind of stay back for now. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, if you're not, enjoyed, comment some down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.